The following is a fan-made project. All My Little Pony programs, comic books, and related merchandise are owned by Hasbro Incorporated and its affiliates. Please support the official release. Hello, I'm Thunderflare, Brony Analysis Extraordinaire, and let's talk about Daring Delt. Oh god, here we go again! As you can guess from the title, I'm going to talk about the Cat's Portal Empire. Good luck spelling that in your Google search. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about, here's where the Empire is referenced. Stand by and do nothing. You know what's at stake here? How is Odal has sought control of the Tanok Tiefland Basin since Book 3? True, but in Book 4, she defeated Awazotl and secured control of the Amulet of Atonement, dispelling the dark magic of the Quetzalcoatl Empress, and thus protecting the basin with the Radiant Shield of Razdan. The name comes from the Aztec Winged Serpent Deity. In fact, a lot about the Quetzalcoatl Empire is inspired by the Aztecs. The architecture and Awazotl is in fact a creature from Aztec mythology. Speaking of Awazotl, do you know he's voiced by Vegeta? Even more surprising is that Cavalier on here is voiced by Nappa. What, do these two voice actors just come as a package deal? Since everyone's thinking it. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What do we know about the Quetzalcoatl Empire? Well, surprisingly, we know a lot, despite it only being mentioned in passing. First of all, is the fact that the ruins of the Empire are located in the Tenochtitlan. Basin. Good luck spelling that one, too. Tenochtitlan is apparently in the northern west corner of Equestria, as shown by about the fifth Indiana Jones reference in the episode, is that they possess magic on par with Celestia and Luna. This is implied, at least, to the possibility of them being able to manipulate the sun, shown through various shots in the episode, and the fact that they're based off the Aztecs, who were known as the people of the sun. Yeah, that, that's pretty obvious. Lastly, it's clear they had enemies to stop them in their plans. Considering they wanted to bring 800 years of unrelenting heat, it's not surprising that happened. Some pony set up the Radiant Shield of Rest on using the Amulet of Atonement, so the Petsville Empire used the Rings of Scorchera to try to bring down the Enchantment, but then the rings were scattered all across the four corners of Town of Teetland, and the Empire was eventually wiped out. Everyone got that? So the question is, who overthrew this empire? Since they controlled the sun, they most likely predated Celestia's rise to power. There's also the fact that worship of the god Quetzalcoatl goes back to our pre-classical era. And this world also has a pre-classical era, which is the era from which stars were king. Oh, I see what you did there, Dave Polsky. Gold star! Well, that just leaves the question of what they were. I mean, I don't think they were ponies. They seemed to possess more magical power than ponies, and they left behind Abu Sodal. Uh, they could have created him at some point, or maybe he was a completely separate being. I I'm not sure. There's still a lot we don't know, but it would seem likely that they were a different race from ponies. Let's see. Quetzalcoatl. Winged Serpent, they control the sun. Wait. That sounds like... <laughs> Make sense. What fun is there in making sense? Oh yeah, I'm totally doing this. I'm totally bringing Discord into this. Somebody tell KP, because I think she's going to like this. Remember how Discord was introduced to us? He was referred to as the Draconicus. This does imply that he's the only one of his kind. However, the fact that he has a species name and a proper name implies that there were others of his kind at some point. It also makes it easier to assume why Discord was absent from the Heartwarming Eve play, despite being a critical player in Equestria's history. 
if he existed during the Quetzalcoatl Empire, you can bet they did something to stop him because they would not like him any more than Celestia did. So I'm gonna just assume that the Quetzalcoatl Empress sealed him away for a thousand years. Why a thousand? It is really 962 years, but a thousand sounds more ominous. Well, what do you think of my headcanon? Be sure to leave your comments below explaining what you think, as if you could leave your comments anywhere else. And be sure to rate and subscribe. See you next time. just might be my favorite author. I know everything about her. Where she grew up, where she studied literature. Her height, her bust, where she lives, when she's home.